The following video is part two in a two-part series on posterior lateral rotatory instability of the elbow. In this video, we highlight a few of the supplementary examination maneuvers and static and dynamic imaging techniques used to make the diagnosis of posterior lateral rotatory instability. Although the posterior lateral rotatory drawer test is the primary exam maneuver, a number of other tests have been described, including the lateral pivot shift test and a number of various push-up tests. The lateral pivot shift test is performed with the arm overhead, the forearm supinated. An axial compressive force and valgus load is applied as the arm is flexed from the extended position. So I'm going to do the lateral pivot shift test with the arm overhead. I'm going to explain to people in the camera. Is mm -hmm. that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you have to make sure the patient relaxes, and I've already gone through that to get her to relax. With the arm in extension and the shoulder fully externally rotated, externally rotate or supinate the forearm, and you'll see a little bit of dimple forming here. And as you flex the elbow up, just relax your arm best you can. As you flex the elbow up, you increase the supination a little bit. Now the elbow is subluxated, and as it's subluxated, you want to relax the supination. So you have no supination torque now, only a little bit of valgus torque. And then in a second, when I move it a bit further, you'll feel that clunk. Is that mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So as I reduce it, I mean, as I flex, it reduces. I'm going to come back down, it'll clunk a little yeah. bit out. And as I come back down with a little bit of valgus, it'll clunk back out. There it's out. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Am yeah. I hurting you? No, you're not hurting me. I'm going to let it go back in one more time. Okay, and you'll see that clunk right there as I flex the elbow. There it is. There, I, I kind of let that slip in a little more gently. Are you okay? I'm fine. Did I hurt? No, you're, <laughs> no? you did you fine. Sure? A number of push-up tests have also been described. These rely on the patient to push themselves up from a flexed and supinated position. The test is positive when pain, apprehension, or a sensation of instability occurs. Radiographs are typically negative, but they may demonstrate posterior lateral subluxation of the radial head or slight widening of the ulnohumeral joint. MRI can be used to assess the integrity of the lateral collateral ligament complex. If the physical exam is equivocal, a number of dynamic tests can be used to confirm the diagnosis. Examples include fluoroscopy or ultrasound. In the case of ultrasound, the probe is placed from the olecranon to the lateral epicondyle. A posterior lateral rotatory force is then applied to the forearm with the examiner's other hand. The distance between the humerus and the ulna are then measured in the resting and stressed states.